Today I'm going to show you how you can ink your characters or art using the pen tool but not using this point to point method like this. No, today we're going to show you how you can set your 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 strokes to be fills so you can ink like a boss and not have to do all this point to point method like this. I mean, this is fine. I mean, yeah, you can do it if you want to. But some people they want to have their work done even faster and this method that I'm going to show you it's a little tip that I'm going to give out because a lot of people don't know about this but um, yeah it should speed you up in your drawing and in your inking process so yeah let's just go on but first before we do anything and I mean before we do anything you're going to want to come over here to objects oops nope my bad you want to come over here to edit come down to keystrokes come down to menu commands right here right there now we're going to want to go to objects do, 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 do. come all the way down well it's actually not all the way down um, because you're going to want to go into paths it's right here and now you want to go to outline stroke set this to what I have you see CTRL um, plus oh you don't have to put plus because it's going to be there automatically you're going to want to press just like this there that's it it's it's that easy now once you have that set press ok yes I wanna do it and there you go now we're gonna need something to ink I'm just gonna draw something really fast um, ooh those strokes are a little bit too big let's come over here yeah it's much better like everyone know who has ever watched me draw, I like to start it with circles and stuff. That's just the way I am. Um, I don't know. Let's draw something with ears. There we go. going to give him some ears, yo. I'm not trying to show off my skill or anything. I'm just trying to draw something like really fast so I can do this video for you guys. No. I must do my stereotypical furry lines of hair um I don't know let's call this guy Bob yeah this is Bob we're gonna give him some teeth <laughs> like, eh, please kill me and there's Bob well let's give him a neck give him some shoulders he's like oh yeah girl Cause he's so cool. Yeah, that's Bob. He's so cool. Look at him. We about to make him look cool. Okay, now we're we're gonna want to ink this fella. We're gonna come over here, lock this layer right there, mm -hmm, girlfriend. And then we're gonna come over here and get our sh stroke. I wanted to call that a fill for a second. And we're gonna get our stroke. And we want to grab our pencil. We'll actually, have that set right there. Oops, right there. And we're going to want to ink this guy out. Now that we are going to ink him, we're going to go like that, and these lines are way too small. No, let's go to about a five. Let's go to a five. There we go. Stroke set to five. And we're going to set this just like that. Oops, and I'm going to go to edit tool. My things are jumbled around right there in my pop-up menu, so I have to fix that later. Yeah, I got that right there. Now let's make another. Now, as you can see, this can speed up your process of inking a character. Well, you know, there's always plus sides to things, and there's always downsides, you know, especially when you want to go into, like, simplifying processes and stuff like this. So, you know, there's always going to be, you know, pros and cons to just drawing them and then doing it with the inking tool like this or something and I like it like that there we go now we're going to want to make this look like it's line art so we're going to highlight it and then want to press control D you know like we set inside the menu and there we go we have now set all of these into fills now you can come along like this and you can 
edit these bad boys and make it look like they're line art. Just like that. Mm. Want to get rid of this thing right here. So I want to drag that for it. Man, it is hot in my room right now. Sorry if I sound a bit rusty at these videos because I am. I have not been doing videos like this in a while. And I'm going to come right here. Like I said, you can do this even faster if you can like paint these out with a paintbrush tool if you have like a steady hand. And I have a video on how to make a brush tool that well a brush that looks like line art. Um I'll link that somewhere down there. Okay, got that. Uh this looks stupid. Let's fix this. this right here oops dang it keeps grabbing that anchor yeah you get the point I'll just fix that up later it doesn't matter because I'm not saving this picture or anything yeah as you can see there you can ink it ink your character make them look nice it's really easy let's do, let's do one more to do that mouth uh, let's put that to a three now control D and uh, you can go in here and ink your character by all means you don't have to draw the exact same character that I drew this is just something to just show off the method that I'm using and you will probably be more neater than me as well because I am not neat at this. Not by a long shot. Actually, you can, since this is a um, fill now, you can actually shave some of this down if you like. It's really easy. Yeah. There you go. I think his name was Bob, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I just thinking about some other stuff? Yeah, there you go. You can ink your character now. Your characters, your art, your comics, whatever you got. It's not easy. Use your imagination. Your imagination is key to everything. And yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. I will have more similar to this. And I have a variety of videos on my channel that are not only art directed. So yeah, um, I have you know stuff that deal with computers and other junk. So yeah, chuch it. See you guys later.